Tēnā koutou katoa, I'm Jack, and if you're new to this channel, well, so am I. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'll be focusing on Cardano and a process called state pool delegation. I'll be covering Cardano a lot in this channel, but in this video, I thought I would walk through understanding stake pool metrics and how to delegate your ADA. I'm going to explain the process using the Daedalus wallet. Other wallets such as your Roy and Adalite will support staking soon, and custody services such as Coinbase custody will also eventually enable this. The process with these will be similar to what I explain here. If you need a little background to proof of stake, my previous video covers that. I've linked to it and the Daedalus wallet software along with other resources mentioned in the video in the description below. A wallet is a public and private key pair. A pair of magic cryptographic numbers that help identify, protect, and sign transactions in the network. A wallet application is a bit of software that helps you manage these cryptographic keys. Since cryptocurrency holdings can represent significant value, Good practice includes using a hardware wallet, a small physical device specifically engineered to manage private keys. It's the private keys which enable you to spend tokens and perform other tasks, so these need to be handled with care. Cardano's best known wallet applications are Daedalus and Euroi. Wallet applications to date have focused on cryptocurrencies, but as the use of tokens, certificates, and smart contracts become more prevalent in the coming years, Wallet software will help to manage different processes. You can see this evolution in Daedalus's delegation center, the features of the application that help you delegate your ADA stake. We will be covering this more in a moment, but first we need to install Daedalus. Each time you run Daedalus, it will sync up with the network, but in general, that happens in the background. Since Daedalus has a full node wallet application, which means it pulls down an entire copy of the Cardano blockchain the first time you run it. Daedalus will need a little bit of time to sync up with the network. It takes up to two hours to sync up with the full block, so you can see why light wallets such as Euroi or Adalite have an advantage. If this is the first time using Daedalus, you will either need to create a new wallet or restore one from a seed phrase, if you've had an Ada wallet in Euroi, for example. In this case, I already have Ada in my wallet, but you can always go to an exchange or a cryptocurrency retailer to obtain ADA. Now that we have a wallet with ADA in it, we're ready to start making decisions about delegating our ADA. This amounts to deciding on which stake pool we want to delegate to. Delegation happens at the wallet level, so if you want to delegate to more than one stake pool, then you create more than one wallet. 10 ADA is the minimum amount required in a wallet for delegating. Delegating a wallet creates a special rewards wallet that receives earned rewards and incurs a small transaction fee to register the delegation on the blockchain. Any changes to delegation preferences require one full epoch to elapse before they take effect. Since this delay will affect the expected return, you don't want to be switching up your delegation preferences too often. In other words, we should be making informed decisions about whom to delegate to. Keep in mind that stake pools can retire too, so you'll need to keep an eye on your stakes over time to ensure they are delegated productively. For simplicity, I'm going to delegate to one stake pool, so I've created a single wallet to do this. To make the selection process and monitoring straightforward and consistent, Daedalus includes a visual grading system of the publicly registered stake pools. There is also a reward calculator that I've linked to in the description that can help us get a sense of expected returns. As I mentioned before, Daedalus' user interface includes a delegation center, the area of the wallet application designed to help you make a decision for wallet delegation. In the stake pools tab of Daedalus' delegation center, each pool is represented as a tile and dynamically ranked according to criteria that help to illuminate the past and expected productivity of the pool. Each tile uniformly presents a stake pool, a five character pool symbol, a ranking, an optional retirement badge, and a saturation indicator. Clicking on any tile reveals more information about the pool, an ID, a web link, and factors that contribute to the ranking. Each stake pool can be viewed as a micro enterprise competing for community delegation, since this enables them to produce blocks and earn fees. To help operators promote their pool, the listing includes a web link. This enables the operator to position themselves uniquely. 
and includes featuring their setup, their long-term performance, their contribution to the Cardano ecosystem, and even making promises to invest profits to some other causes. Many operators just provide a dashboard that gives a bit of transparency into the operation of the node, but over time, we can expect stake pool operators to become more sophisticated. A pool's desirability features numerically in the tile as its rank, but also orders the tiles. I'll explain some of the factors that contribute to this ranking in a moment. Each tile shows a pool saturation. A combination of bar length and associated color offer a quick visual cue to the relative amount of ADA delegated with a pool. The Ouroboros incentive mechanism caps earning potential of a pool if too much ADA is pledged and delegated to it. The rule prevents a rich get richer outcome and therefore helps to mitigate consolidation of the state pools into a few operators. 100% saturation is where a pool has an optimal amount of ADA delegated to it. Anything beyond 100% is not optimal for distributing block production across the network. The bar color varies from green to orange, green indicating a pool is undersaturated and orange indicating a pool is oversaturated. Since the actual ADA and delegated wallets can be transferred or spent easily by the owner, saturation will be dynamic. Drilling into a pool's metrics a little deeper, we have controlled stake, pool margin, pledge, cost per epoch, and produced blocks. Controlled stake shows the ratio of ADA delegated to the pool, and pool margin is the operation fee charged after the cost is deducted. The pool margin is the fee charged by the pool operator and is applied to the pool's earned rewards after costs have been deducted. Pledge reveals how much ADA the owners have delegated to their pool. Pledges signal a commitment to operating a stake pool and producing blocks, such that it is in the operator's and owner's interests to be honest. The pledge amount is an opportunity cost to the operator on top of the node's running costs. A higher pledge means a greater level of commitment so they can charge a higher pool margin. The pledge amount also factors into the reward calculation, giving a reward boost for higher pledges, mitigating something called a cyber attack, and hence operators. This design aims to ensure that pool operators don't masquerade as different pools or monopolize the system. The cost per epoch is an operation fee deducted from the pool's award after each epoch. After the cost and margin are deducted from the pool's reward, what ADA remains is distributed to the pool's stake reward wallets. Pledge and delegated ADA make up the total stake of the pool, so the rewards are issued on a pro rata basis, the appropriate reward wallet. The pool's operator sets the pool margin, pledge amount, and cost per epoch to offset short-term profit maximizing. These factors all contribute to calculating the desirability and rank of the pool. Now all of that is a lot to take in. The objective of the overall design is to create a well-distributed, decentralized network a network topology that can sustain both ongoing operations and encourage continued participation beyond any exchange value speculation. When we've selected the pool we're going to delegate to, it's a reasonably straightforward process. We select the pool, click delegate, choose a wallet, then confirm this by entering your spending password. As discussed before, there is a 10 ADA minimum fee to delegate a wallet to a stake pool. We can transfer ADA in and out at any time. Wallets can be delegated to other pools at any time. However, any changes to the preferences take a full epoch to take effect and you start seeing rewards. In both cases, the transaction fee applies for transfers or delegation. How you decide to delegate is entirely up to you, but the intention is that you make an informed decision that benefits both you and the Cardano network. I research the pools and get to know them a little bit, then factor in the ranking metrics before I delegate. Typically, I choose a pool that aligns with building a healthy ecosystem. Don't be afraid to delegate to the slightly lower ranks either. Remember that these pools are completely dynamic and are subject to delegation and performance updates. So what might be a slightly lower ranking stake pool could end up offering a higher return in the end. Just a little note about the Shelley era. At the time of recording, Cardano was in the early days of Shelley. So the ranking and performance of the state pools is randomized for the moment and the network is slowly moving to being decentralized over the next few months. I've chosen to discuss everything as if this whole decentralization process has been completed. I hope I've created enough interest for you to at least experiment with staking on Cardano. 
perhaps even motivating you to obtain some ADA yourself and give staking a try. If you comment below, I'm interested to know what pools you've delegated to and why. Overall, the Cardano network is well engineered and able to evolve continually. In my next video, I'll be making an argument for Cardano. What makes it unique with respect to other blockchain projects? Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Kakete ano wa we are queer. Catch you in the next one.